Hi everyone. In this video I'll be looking at some of the ways in which Bach creates eighth note motion in his chorales. Although there are examples of Bach's chorales written almost exclusively in quarter notes or larger note values, chorale 320 for example, the majority include at least some eighth notes. It's instructive therefore to gain an understanding of the ways in which eighth notes may be added to a chorale texture. Typically, inclusion of a minor key's raised 6th and 7th degrees as 8th notes occurs in one of two ways. The first way, with the harmonised 8th note chords on both degrees also using larger note values in some parts as a common note or notes. For example, here the chords harmonising A minor's raised 6th and 7th degrees share as common notes the D and B quarter notes in the soprano and bass parts. The resulting harmony, a 2-7 progression, includes the doubled root note of the supertonic being delayed by a 9-8 suspension in the tenor part, the resolution of which is doubled as the third of the following leading note harmony. Here also the major subdominant and leading note diminished chords harmonising D minors raised 6th and 7th degrees share the alto's G note. The other way in which a minor key's raised 6th and 7th degrees are used as 8th notes is when neither chord shares a common note. Here for example all notes of both chords move as 8th notes. In this example the augmented median chord moves from the major subdominance to the supertonic 7th and 4-2 inversion. Along with the progressions in these examples, Bach uses several other chord combinations to harmonise the raised 6th and 7th degrees, including 4-7, 6-7, 6-5, 4-5, four, and various combinations of these chords in inversion and with added 7ths. Notice with all of these examples, sometimes the raised notes are the root notes of the chords, while at other times they're the 3rd or 5th. As with examples using raised degrees, there may be some variation in the use of the lowered 6th and 7th degrees in a chorale texture. For example, only one of the degrees may be harmonised, with the other taken as a passing note. And they may include one raised degree. Along with the progressions in these examples, other chord combinations harmonising the lowered 6th and 7th degrees include 5-6, in which both degrees may be raised, and various combinations of these chords in inversion and with added 7ths. Often Bach will use 8th notes to prolong a harmony across several beats. Here, for example, the tonic in E minor, which initially sounds on the third quarter note beat of the bar, is prolonged by its leading note diminished seventh chord, which here lacks its third. The leading note diminished seventh chords root note fifth and seventh degrees, of which the root note and seventh are approached by leap, move over a sustained E note, which after sounding the root note of the second E minor chord, moves up to F sharp to sound the third of G major's dominant. Here also an A minor chord is prolonged by its leading note diminished chord, which in the alto part includes A minor's raised 6th and 7th degrees taken as 16th notes. Here again only three of the four parts contain chord notes of the prolonging chord, while the soprano sounds A minor's root note. And here D minor's dominant is prolonged by 8th notes, moving as passing neighbour and harmony notes, here adding the seventh to the dominant chord. An extension of this idea occurs here, where throughout these bars a B-flat major chord is used alternating with other harmony before a 2-5-1 cadence concludes the phrase.
and later in the same chorale, a chromatic bass in eighth notes prolongs the dominance of G minor, producing a series of secondary chords resolving to G minor's submediant, subtonic, and tonic chords. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.